So you've uh, heard about the site and uh, our philosophy and hopefully you know that will encourage a few few new people to the site and we welcome you anytime I'm sure any, anybody in the chat rooms who are watching this live now will, uh, will, will agree with me come on write it there yeah there you go I knew you would <laughs> now then um, in terms of the retrocast itself obviously this is new to all gamer dads and all non gamer dads really um, Quick sort of bit of housekeeping. I mean, as you can see from behind me, we're all about retro gaming here. Um, you know, we're of that age where, you know, we're not exactly young whippersnappers anymore. So we like to look on things in a bit of a, you know, bit of nostalgia and hopefully give you a few facts and figures and a few uh, retro reviews as well. So we're just basically here for for you guys really. I'm I'm trying to make this more of a community based uh, uh, podcast. So there'll be links in the doobly doo down here somewhere. And also in the show notes of how to get hold of how to, how to sort of get hold of us. And uh, what I'd like to hear from you guys is what kind of systems you you want covering. You know what kind of um, game genres you want covering. In any particular sort of uh, ongoing sort of just just. Uh, games in general really so for example you might want one based on say the final fantasy series or something based on on dizzy which i know me and gd want to do soon don't we gd oh yes <laughs> so we'll look for that one coming soon we'll work on that one and we need we need to um i think we need to make clear as well move it for our younger members um what exactly is a retro console mm, true true well we've, we've got some members who think the playstation one is a retro console oh I don't know. Well, okay. <laughs> you know who you are who said that. You know who you are. You have, we've had words in the forums, my friend. <laughs> yes, okay. Retro consoles can basically, I guess, can really be anything you know previous to this generation. Although, to me in GD, PlayStation 1, really? I mean, really? No. no. Uh, yeah, hello you young whippersnappers, there's, there's people that are older than 20 here, I mean, come on, you're making us feel old here. PlayStation 1's your first console, That's, it's never been retro! 3D, what's that? I completely lost my train of thought there. <laughs> yeah. I'm going there again. It happens. It does. <laughs> it does with me. That's <laughs> 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 that's true actually we'll not cut that bit out you know yeah. just say so, you know it's uh you guys need to know uh, how we make this thing there you go we're uh, you know it's, it's more of a discussion than, than a script thing sorry gd are you saying um was i was i saying um i can't remember uh, what i was saying who's the prime um, minister yeah, PlayStation. <laughs> um no definitely not a retro console in my eyes um i mean uh, i'm looking at i'm looking, looking at you your 8-bit right. to 16 bit um, uh, there's a few 32-bit consoles I would stick in the pack with, but you know, not too many. But um, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, everyone's got their own ideas of what a retro console is. Um, yeah. But for me, the PlayStation is not retro. Um, you know, you, you can, there's still games available. Um, you, know, you can download them on PlayStation. It doesn't just doesn't come across as retro to me. No, not really. But again different by the community so if you feel that uh, you know you want PlayStation stuff covering you want Dreamcast stuff covering I mean we'll cover anything you really want but uh, you know really when, when you co you're talking to two guys whose first console was horse driven literally horse in the back garden running around the wheel you know yeah. and it's sending sending it through we, we were playing games before electricity was invented mates now come on so anyway yes Steam, well, Steve, yeah, they, you say Steam to these young whippers happens these days, they're thinking of moving PC engine, never mind uh, <laughs> Steam powered consoles. <laughs> okay, so, but for now, um, as me and GD just had a little chat, we're going to actually cover um, the first console that me and GD grew up loving. You can probably see a clue to it right up there. It's um, basically the Spectrum. Um, I personally, my first ever games console was a Spectrum 128K. I don't know wh which one did you have, GD? Yeah, I had the 48K. Um, start with the old rubber oh, key pad. Yeah, um, you see. You know, it, it, it had to be done, didn't it? Um, I still got it as well. Um, uh, you know, and I've still Let got the 48K um, plus, maybe plus two and plus three. Um, you know. No. Great little computers for the time, and even now, you know, if you haven't played on a Spectrum, 
um, you know, you, you've just got to do it just for the experience. And I'm not talking about flashing it up on the internet. I'm, I'm talking about sitting there for a good five minutes waiting for it to load, um, only for it to have it crash out on you. You know, um, but just the, the anticipation that you felt when you were sitting there watching these loading screens was, was you know, something that's not really experienced anymore. Oh yeah, that's it. People complain about loading times now, about two or three minutes on on the big AAA games, and you know, tell you what, two or three hours, mate. Yeah. One one level made up of about four screens, and then you wait for another two hours while you load the next one. I'll and tell you. And if, it, and if it didn't work, you'll be blowing out the tape deck and trying to get it. Again. <laughs> that's the one. Okay, so a little treat for you. Coming up, we've got uh, actually a, a thing we found um, on YouTube, um, and I'll. I'll actually link in with the show notes who actually posted it, so so you get the full credit. It's actually uh, an original advert for the Spectrum 48K, GD's preferred console. So here it is. Alright, so there you go. Um, some of you guys probably not even heard of <laughs> of that console or seen it. Much much like for that, anyone of our age will probably remember that advert from when it first came on the telly. <laughs> back when back when uh, TV was what three channels back then was Channel Four quite new in 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 the eighties. I can't remember. Oh, I can't even remember anymore. <laughs> can't remember it now. <laughs> Excuse my beer there. Um, so yeah, the Spectrum. Games, consoles. What, what, uh, you know, what inspired you? What actually, uh, you know, what do you remember as a kid? What did, um, you know, what, what kind of things stick in your mind, JD? Well, it's actually, um, it was, it was my parents that got it for me originally, um, and I think like most parents at the time, they thought it was going to be a, a computer that, you know, their kids could grow up on, learn programming, <laughs> and it was, uh, you know, and and take over the world with, but um, yeah, it obviously turned into a bit of a games console for everyone, um, <laughs> including my dad as well. One of my favourite games, um, or, or my all-time favourite game on the Spectrum was a game called Chaos. Um, I, I know you've got some, some footage coming up of that, um, it, was, um, it was a really, really simple game. Um, it was basically eight wizards on, on one screen, you all got um, a, a selection of spells, um, that you could cast, and um, basically it was the last wizard standing one. Um, and you know the graphics were really basic, as most Spectrum games were. Um, everything was really basic about it, but it just it was just such an addictive, brilliant game. Um, and uh, you know it's one of those games that even today would work really well on Xbox Live on PSN. It, it would just I think would sell so many games. Um, and you know, and even now I still, you know, still boot it up. You could have eight players as well, you know, on one spectrum all playing. It was, it was just really, it was really sort of ahead of its time in, in terms of playability. But um, yeah, if, if any of you guys have got spectrums out there, and, and um, or or even if you, you know, you can find it on the net, um, definitely have a go of it. it. It's really worth it. You see, sort of where games sort of come from. Mm. Defo. There'll be some links in the uh, doobly doo in a bit. With there's actually a website um, which is quite a legal website, which is uh, you know has um, flash based versions of quite a few Spectrum games. So I think Chaos is on on there. It is on there. It is on there. There we go. So so there you go, GDs. Um, in the doobly doo, and obviously I'll be talking live to you while this is broadcasting on on the premiere. So I'll stick the links in in that side as well. 